Hey guys, Tammy here again with the skipping series. We are now moving into part three. We know in part one, we spoke about bounding mechanics. If you guys haven't checked that out yet, I would go back and watch that first. Part number two, we spoke about hand positioning or even arm positioning. Part number three, we are now gonna move into what your hand pattern should actually look like. Just like part one and part two of the series, I'm gonna show you guys some of the common faults that we see. Okay, fault number one that we see, I like to call it the hammer. It's when people skip predominantly from here. So instead of them doing an up and down motion of the hands, what we see instead is that everything is moving up and down. So I'm gonna see if I can demonstrate this for you guys. And now I'm gonna show you guys the same thing from side on. So as you can see, as I'm doing the jump, my hands are moving up and down a lot just like as though I was smashing a hammer. Second very common thing that we see is people actually creating circles with their arms. So again, I'm gonna try and demonstrate it for you guys, but now as I'm skipping, my arms are creating a nice big arc in a circle. So again, from side on, arms are creating a big circle. We also discussed fault number three actually in series or part number two, which was our hands drifting out. So you'll notice that some people start in here and as they skip, their hands start to get wider and wider, which they can make work if they're coordinated, but more often than not, it's gonna shorten that rope out. And the final thing, which I think a lot of people actually think they should be doing is creating circles with the wrist. So that looks like this. Let me show you again from side on. So it's a very circular pattern of the wrist happening here instead of what I'm about to take you guys through to learn how to be a little bit more efficient. So in part number two, I showed you guys where your arms and your hands should be and we use the PVC pipe. What we're gonna do to fix this is also use this behind our backs. So as discussed before, when we set up, Shoulders are gonna be slightly forward. We're gonna have our elbows behind the body. We're gonna have our hands in line with our hips and our hands should be at that 45 degree angle. Now, what we should see happening is that our thumbs should be moving down and up, down and up. This is all it is. Don't wanna see any circles of the wrist or anything crazy, just down and up. Let me show you from side on what that looks like. Again, thumbs just moving up and down, keeping them at that 45 degree angle. Nothing crazy happening here. I know it seems pretty simple, but this is the key.